Coach will open with comment. Raise your hand. Keep up for a second. Well, I was uh, really pleased with the way we came out and started fast in this game, uh, really on both sides of the ball. Uh, I think that's something that we have not done in uh, our three games, and that was certainly the goal, uh, to try to come out and sort of be a dominant team. But we didn't sustain that, and we didn't finish uh, the game like we needed to. I uh, started to try to play some other players and you know, didn't do a very good job functionally. Um, and, you know, really kind of let them back in the game. But uh, that experience will be good for those players down the road. Uh, we didn't execute very well defensively. And I think, you know, not stopping the run, uh, not getting off field on third down, um, didn't play great in the red zone. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we made a lot of mental errors. We made a lot of mental errors with new guys playing, um, in some cases, different positions. So the continuity and the togetherness is not what it needs to be on that side of the ball. I really thought the offense did a great job. Jalen played an outstanding game today, um, running pass. And um, if you know we'd have left those guys in there, I think they'd have continued to, you know, do a good job in the game. But I thought we'd do a little bit better job on defense and be able to play some other players. And that's something that you know we'd love to do, but. Uh, just couldn't play more guys, but it's a great win for us. Uh, we got SEC games coming up. Uh, I think everybody's got to sort of look around and, you know, not think so much about we and us, but uh, a lot about I. You know, what can I do better to make us a better team? And I think that should be the focus that we have, so that we can continue to improve and, um, you know, play better as a team. So. Um, that's going to be the focus. That's going to be the goal. That's what we're going to, you know, try to do in this um, starting the SEC season this week. You, you talked after each of the first two games about needing some of the guys around Jalen to do a little bit more to help him. Did you like seeing a couple of the wide receivers make plays tonight? Uh, you know, I thought we had a lot of guys make plays in the last game. I thought we had we have capable guys, and it was good to see a lot of different guys make plays tonight. I think that's what we need. Um, you know, that kind of diversity, more guys that are playmakers. And, um, you know, I think, you know, two backs really played well in the game, uh, Bo and Damian. Um, I think, you know, four or five of the receivers did a really nice job. So just got to continue to build on that. Just wondering, after that first quarter, I think they had 11 yards and then uh, pretty big second quarter for Colorado State in the second quarter. What, what do you think happened there? Um, did they change anything? Did anything change on your end? No, they're, they're, they have a really good offensive scheme and they've got, you know, good offensive players. Um, and a quarterback did a good job for them. Um, there were some third down situations, third and 12, third and 10. You got to get off the field in those situations where, you know, they made plays that. Um, we normally would make that we didn't make, and that allowed them to keep the ball. Uh, we busted a coverage, gave them a 50 yard play, um, you know, where corner fired, nobody covered his guy. Uh, so, you know, we didn't execute. Uh, that's what happened. We didn't execute, and playing against good players who can make plays and respect them for what they can do. Uh, when you don't do what you're supposed to do and do it well, you know, that they're going to make plays. And they made some plays that um, I wasn't pleased with that we need to do a better job of executing on. You've talked about wanting more explosive plays in the passing game. How big was Robert's catch right there to kind of steal momentum? And how big were, were just the explosive well, plays you guys got? it was huge because they had gotten the momentum in the game. Um, you know, we got ahead 17 nothing and scored, you know, two straight drives, a touchdown and a field goal. Um, for us to answer the bell and come back and score points on that drive, I think was huge, especially going in at halftime. Um, but, you know, you allow teams like this to think they can play with you, and they do, and they play better as the game goes on. And when you don't execute and do what you got to do, you know, when a fullback goes out in the flat and somebody's got to cover them and the guy doesn't cover them, I mean, it's hard to play good. So, you know, um, I think it was huge right before the half. Yeah, just wanted to get an update on Miller or Forrestal. I saw he left the game in the third quarter. You know, he, he has a knee, and um, pro probably um, it'll be confirmed tomorrow. But 
Um, he's he's probably got a, a an ACL, um, or at least we'll get an MRI to confirm it. If that's the case, he'll be out for the year. What do you see out of the running backs today, especially since you mentioned Bo and Damian specifically? I think those two guys played great. I think Bo probably was as explosive as he's been all year. Uh, I think Damian ran with a lot of passion, um, a lot of toughness, um, did a good job. I thought the offensive line did a little better job today, and um, we had better, a little better protection, and um, we had some pretty good holes to run through, and those guys did a good job of being physical and hitting it downhill and running it well. Talk about some of the defensive issues uh, you had today. How much of that stemmed from lack of a pass rush? Obviously, you got some guys missing, but it doesn't seem like you've been able to develop that much this early on. Well, most of the passes came out quick, so I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of pass rush. Um, we didn't execute pressures very well. Um, you know, we made a couple interceptions, which were you know huge in the game. I think, and you know, turning the game around. Um, but look. All, all these things are issues, you know. We we got five linebackers that aren't playing, and I don't care who you are, what team you are, that that creates some issues and some problems. Um, it hurts us in nickel uh, because they're not as big. Um, it hurts us playing the run. Um, forces us to play guys at different positions. Um, so. You know, but we got to get the guys that we have better, and we're going to work hard to do that. And we're going to take the things that they did well and build on it, and try to make corrections with the things that they didn't do. Um, so, you must have a date. <laughs> yeah, seems like in a real hurry to get out of here. <laughs> You guys put the starters back in the game uh, on offense uh, late in the game. What was the uh, rationale behind that, and was it a message you were trying to send to the team? Well, I mean, they're trying to kick an onside kick. You know, they're still trying to win the game. And I thought, you know, our defense was tired. We played too many plays in the game. We couldn't get off the field on third down. We played the whole fourth quarter. We didn't make any first downs with the other guys in the game. So we weren't going to give them the ball back. That was the rationale. Did I want to do that? No. If you want to criticize me for it, fine. But they weren't going to get the ball back because I didn't think, you know, we weren't stopping them, and they were trying to win the game. I mean, you know, I, I, I tried to play a lot of players in the game, um, and maybe we tried to do it too soon. I thought it was important to get Tua, you know, a little more time to play, especially with some better players in the game rather than putting the whole twos in there. I kept scoring on the defense, so... They kind of got back in the game. So um, we weren't trying to score. We we're just trying to take the air out of it. All right. Thank you.